Hi, I'm Jude from HeadFi.org. On this episode of HeadFi TV, we're going to talk about something that's big news in the HeadFi world, particularly if you're more into the higher end of the premium headphone audio market, and especially if you're an electrostatic headphone enthusiast and user. The big news is that today, Stax Japan is going to unveil their Stax SRM T8000 vacuum tube input driver unit for ear speakers. In other words, the SRM T8000 is a hybrid tube solid state electrostatic amp that is fully balanced and it uses 6922 dual triode tubes for the first stage and a solid state class A output stage. Stax's goal for the amp was ultra low noise and accurate rich musical expression. That's how they put it. But I'll say this, if this prototype SRM T8000 is any indication, that goal was faithfully realized. It is spectacular. Stax has traditionally played their cards very close to the vest when it comes to products in their skunk works, so I was surprised and thrilled when Douglas from Stax asked if I was interested in trying their upcoming flagship amp, this T8000. He also invited us to visit Stax's factory in Saitama Prefecture, which while you're watching this is probably where I'll be. Now before I say more about the Stax SRM T8000, I want to give a little background on Stax and their electrostatic headphone amplifiers, what Stax calls driver units, and why this new SRM T8000 is such a big deal. This amp is a huge deal because it's the first true flagship electrostatic headphone amplifier since, well, a very long time ago, over 20 years ago, back in 1994. So back in 94, Stax released an amp that has earned legendary status among longtime Stax enthusiasts called the Stax SRM T2. The SRM T2 was big, heavy, consumed a lot of power, and was expensive. Now, to the best of my knowledge, there weren't too many T2s made. And even if you can find one today, getting a T2 into top operating condition after all these years isn't for the DIY faint of heart. Now, I've never heard the Stax SRM T2 myself. They're obviously not easy to come by. From what I understand, though, the T2 was a wonderful amp and has long been considered Stax's best amp, period. Now, it was sometimes prone to hum, though, and sometimes complex to a fault in its design, but it was, by most accounts, a true flagship class electrostatic amp. Again, though, I haven't actually heard the T2. If you're at all familiar with Stax and their electrostatic headphones and amps, you're probably aware of the fact that they still offer desktop amp models like the Solid State SRM727-2 and also the Stax SRM007-T2 with its vacuum tube output stage. Now, as this 007-T2 is currently Stax's most expensive amp, it could reasonably be said that it is the current Stax flagship amp. However, a lot of Stax aficionados, myself included, don't feel that the SRM 727-2 and the SRM 007-T2, as good as they are, we just don't feel that they do enough to extract the full performance, fully exploit Stax's top headphones, headphones like the SRL 700, the Stax SR 007s, and the headphone that's been their flagship since 2011, the SR 009. So if the currently available Stax headphone amps haven't been the best available, what have the most diehard Stax enthusiasts been doing to drive their beloved Stax headphones? The answer is that many have been buying higher-end electrostatic amps from Headamp, Woo Audio, Ray Samuels Audio, Cavalli Audio, or even building their own. Now here at HeadFi HQ, we decided to go the custom route. We commissioned a build with DIY community legend Frank Cooter. He designed and built us a custom amp called the 845 Directly Heated Electrostatic Headphone Amplifier, and it is, with any of the top Stax headphones, an absolute marvel of warmth and resolution. The custom Cooter 845 amp is absolutely magnificent. But this, this truly flagship class amp from Stax, the SRM T8000, this new amp is also magnificent. Again, I haven't heard the old Stax SRM T2, but I can say this new Stax T8000 finally and firmly puts Stax back in the high-end electrostatic amp mix. Now, I imagine the T8000 will be priced significantly higher than Stax's current top choice, the SRM 007 T2, but the T8000 sound, its performance is also significantly better. The T8000, while not as rich and bloomy as the Cooter 845, does have a more lifelike solidity, richer tone, and greater resolution than its smaller Stax sibling. Now, compared to the Stax SRM 007T2, the T8000 has more drive, more bass slam and presence, and it's just so much more impressive. We've only had the T8000 a short time before we had to start shooting this video and getting ready for the Japan trip, but I've spent what time I've so far had with it paired with some of the best DACs we have on hand at the moment, like the Cord Electronics Dave, the Air Acoustics QX520, and the Total DAC D1 Integral Headphone, and the new SRM T8000 takes far fuller advantage of these sources than the SRM 007T2 does. It reveals more of what these great DACs can do. Now, I've also been using it with the Shinola Runwell Turntable, and that has also been a lifelike, mesmerizing combo, especially with either of the SR007s and the SR009. In terms of maximum output voltage, the older SRM 007T2 outputs 340 volts RMS or around 962 volts peak to peak. 
In comparison, the SRM T8000 has a significantly higher maximum output voltage of 470 volts RMS or around 1330 volts peak to peak. The SRM T8000 has four pairs of inputs, though the fourth input is an optional slot for a future purpose that Stax hasn't provided any details about yet to me anyway. Now the T8000 also allows you to bypass its own volume control if you already have a source that has its own volume control. This is nice for example when you have a DAC like the Core Dave that has a really good and excellent volume control built in. Inside and out, there's much attention to detail paid by Stax to eliminating external interference with an inert non-magnetic aluminum chassis, vibration proofing dampers, and vacuum tube shield covers. The SRM T8000 is, as you can probably tell in the photos, very well built. I'll have more to say about the new Stax SRM T8000 electrostatic amp after I've spent more time with it, but there's no doubt it's an impressive, truly flagship amp option, and it's exciting to see this again directly from Stax. Now, some Stax aficionados were worried when it was announced that Edifier bought Stax back in 2011. I admittedly was among those concerned for what it would mean for such a storied, enigmatic, small Japanese company of artisans to be bought. Now, from what I've seen, though, in the years since, the results have been extremely positive and my fears have been put to rest. Since the acquisition, Stax has moved to a new location, a bigger facility still in Saitama Prefecture in Japan. They've taken great measures to provide a dust-free manufacturing area, and they've also added a lot of new equipment for research and development. Edifier has also maintained all production and management in Japan, and since the acquisition, the Stax products I picked up, like the SRL700 and the SR007 Mark II, they've been about standing quality and they've been problem free. And now we've got another milestone that has occurred with Stax since the Edifier acquisition, the first true flagship amp from Stax in a very long time with the SRM T8000. Now, if you're going to be at the Tokyo Headphone Festival this weekend, make sure to look for this awesome amp at Stax's exhibit, and also, I'll see you there. Thanks for watching this episode of HeadFi TV. We'll see you next time.